r slash ask reddit what common product has a feature you're not sure everyone is aware of measuring tapes have a few features that a lot of people don't seem to know about the notch and the metal clip is so you can pop a nail into something and hook the tape onto the nail to measure on your own you can also hook it onto a nail hold a pencil at a measurement you want and use it to draw a circle that metal clip is also serrated so that you can use it to scrape a mark in something like wood when you don't have a pencil handy also in relation to the metal clip you may notice it's loose it's loose by exactly the thickness of the clip so that you get the correct measurement whether you're measuring from inside or outside. Finally, if you look at the side of the tape, you'll notice a measurement is written there, like 70mm. This is the length of the measuring tape housing itself. The reason for this is so that you can sit the tape against a window frame, for instance, and measure to the other end. Now just take the measurement and add a measurement on the housing. Most people seem to just bend the tape into the corner, but that's just cumbersome and likely inaccurate. Microsoft Word is a reference section that will auto-format bibliographies and in-text citations with different styles. All you have to do is add the sources and it does everything else. You must be lying. Otherwise I'll hate myself and all my teachers since middle school. Just don't forget to switch it to the right style. If your uni does Appa and you've set it to Harvard then you'll get mood. Have you ever accidentally kept caps lock on while writing in Microsoft Word? You can highlight the text, then press Shift and F3 to undo it. If you press those same buttons again, each sentence will have its first letter capitalized. What if I capitalized each word like that by mistake? In that case, you're Jaden Smith, and there is sadly no cure. Most toasters have little removable trays at the bottom that catch the crumbs that fall off the bread. It turns out that you can empty those periodically to keep from accidentally burning down your house. I feel like you have 10 minutes from buying the toaster to not ruin this tray forever. Also you can push the lever up to make the toast stand out of the toaster. So you don't have to stick your fingers in. I feel like lots of people don't realize it doesn't only push down. That notch in the blade of your kitchen shears is for cutting things like flower stems and chicken bones that would otherwise just slide out when you try to cut them. Phones can record horizontal video, just like watching video on a television screen. Just like how vehicles have turn signals right, ha, huh, nice myth buddy. Found the BMW driver. Leaving a voicemail. Nearly all voicemail machines allow you to press and re-record if you ducked up your message. Most people don't know this and feel like idiots when they duck up the message. The trick to not ducking up a voicemail is to not call anyone. You can turn off the sound from those annoying videos at the gas pump by hitting the buttons on the right from the top down in sequence. Duck those ads for real though. I wouldn't mind just the video, but the sounds is tinny and piercing and I already don't want to be standing in the cold pumping gas. They probably only get like a dollar per day from those. Two. Welcome to gas station TV. Cell phones can be held up to your ear so you talk in a normal voice instead of holding the phone like it's toast you're about to eat and letting everyone in a 12 foot radius hear your entire conversation. I for the life of me cannot figure out why people do this. Read an idea it comes from reality TV shows where the person on screen does it so the viewer can hear the person on the other end of the phone. If you own a dog of at least 35-ish pounds, then you also own a footrest, source, my dog doubles as a footrest, also a towel, and a package delivery alert system, she's basically a swiss army knife I have to feed, I'm ashamed to admit how often I wipe my hands on my dogs, hey it's their fault for being so soft and absorbent, they eat poop and then lick that fur, many phone cameras can see infrared, point a remote at your phone, push a button, and watch your screen, you should be able to see the light that comes from the remote. I use mine to find my glasses when I can't see. Wait what? Say you lose your glasses and your vision is too blurry to fumble around your rooms trying to find them. So instead you turn on your phone camera and point your phone around the room. Instead of looking at the room, you look at your phone screen, which is clearer to you. Reddit has night mode. I suggest everyone to use it if they are like me and browse primarily on a mobile device. On the rare occasions that I come to reddit on desktop, I am jarred back to the reality that reddit isn't black. Same, 
It burns the eyes. Modern elevators and buildings. At least in NYC. I'm sure elsewhere as well. One ding. Single note. Hi. The elevator is going up. Two dings. Two notes. Hi low. The elevator is going down. I believe it's mainly for the visually impaired. Awesome. There should probably be a full thread for things the visually impaired know better about navigating the world that we do not. Baking soda is phenomenal at cleaning sinks and tubs. Just sprinkle it on dry and use a dry cloth and it erases the stains. Vinegar. Add a cup at the beginning rinse cycle along with detergent. It makes an excellent fabric softener for cotton based fabrics. If you add it in the beginning it will lessen the efficacy of the detergent. It also does not leave a smell once the fabrics have dried. Have residue from tape or stickers that won't easily come off. Just smear some peanut butter on it and leave it alone for an hour. Wipe it off with a paper towel. The peanut butter breaks down the adhesive. Clogged sink or tub. Get a shop vac and suck the clog out. If it doesn't come out that way, put it in reverse and blow it out. I often feel strange using baking soda for actual baking. Feel like I'm pouring a household cleaner into the mixture. Now, I always keep a separate box for what goes into food. Because the box I use for cleaning is often handled with dirty hands or was too close to something really unsanitary. So I don't trust it's safe for food. Still though, feel odd to pour the same thing I use to scrub the bathtub into a mixture of cookie dough. I hear you. But it works so well as a cleaner. We keep one in the fridge for odors. One in the bathroom for cleaning. Two extra boxes in the pantry for backup. Most ovens range hoods can be opened and propped up like a car hood making it easier to clean underneath. I did this once while house hunting. The realtor was like this is a new stove. It looked pristine but the skeptic in me lifted the hood. It was in fact new. And my realtor was very upset at my destructive behavior. Were you in fact being destructive? Or did the hood lift easily because it was designed to do so? While your realtor was unaware that hoods could be lifted, so was upset. A good household tip, especially for the ladies is that hydrogen peroxide lifts blood stains perfectly. Don't try to wash blood off with hot water, that will make it bond to the fabric. Thanks Dexter. Baby onesies are that weird shoulder construction so that when baby has a blowout and there's shit everywhere you can pull the onishi down off the baby to avoid smearing shit on baby's face hair slash upper half. Edit. And also to fit over their ginormous baby heads. Of course. Also makes it easier to get it on a baby with a big giant ducking head. Really. Not so much a product but a service. Your local library almost certainly offers free ebooks and audiobooks via overdrive. All you need is a library card number and a pin. Many libraries also offer online learning courses like Linda. They're a delight. And some libraries get a little crazy and loan out artwork. Cake pans. Hand tools. You know those rolls of tin foil plastic wrap that come in the long rectangle boxes? They have tabs on either end that you're supposed to push in and it keeps the roll in place so you don't have to hold it down when you unravel it. Pretty upset at how infrequently I open a new roll. But at least I know now. Gasoline will cut through most grease and glue. It will almost instantly dissolve duct tape adhesive. There a bit at the end of a stapler you can reverse so the staples bend out instead of in. For a less permanent stapling that is easier to remove by hand. This absolutely blew my mind. And the pivoting anvil is common across all decent staplers. My co-workers were less impressed than myself. But you just can't account for poor taste. A common prank when I was in school was to turn that thing around so that people would end up with funny looking staples on their papers. In Excel. You can press F4 to cycle between the different types of absolute cell references. I feel like there should be an entire thread for Excel tips. Control plus F allows you to search for a word. So say you want mention something like turn signals in a particular post. Control plus F would allow you to see how many other people have mentioned the same thing. Most electronic push to start keys for a car actually have a physical key hidden inside it in case the battery to the key fob dies. If your car won't start with the electronic push button you can touch your key fob to the start button and push it in and it should turn on. If it turns on it likely means you have a dead key fob battery which is extremely cheap to replace. If the car doesn't start, 
you have a bigger issue, a dead battery, issue with a starter, etc. and should take it to a mechanic. Might be obvious, but most times someone's over my shoulder on my computer they seem surprised. In most browsers if you want to google some text from a web page you can highlight it and drag it up to the tabs area. No need to copy and paste or right click. You can also right click and choose google the phrase you highlighted. Great. The little knife on a wine opener is to cleanly cut off the wrapper around most wine bottles. I have seen people who have been waiting bartending for years and use the actual corkscrew to try and rip it off. Add on. To all the people who keep saying you can just pull it off you are missing the point. The topic is functions of devices people don't know. Not is that function useful. Also IDK where these easily twist off like champagne foil regular wine bottles are cause the only bottles I have you could easily just twist off the top metal are screw caps. Instant oatmeal packets are lined so you can use them to measure and pour your water. I don't even own measuring cups I just keep old oatmeal packets of assorted sizes in the cupboard. With many car key remotes, you can make all the windows go down at once by pushing the unlock button 3 times. First time unlocks the driver's door, second time unlocks the passenger doors, third time lowers all windows at the same time, a handy feature in warm weather. Yeah my old VW Passat did this, I could never figure out why I would need all my windows open at once, but I do live in England so maybe I wasn't the target market for this feature, unless VW think that everybody likes getting rained on all at once. The Hitachi magic wand is useful for more muscles than you might think. I bought a magic wand for my girl because she enjoys clitoral stimulation during penetration and my hands were getting tired. We broke up and now it's perfect for my calves after a workout. I imagine it'll stay that way, not because of the implications of reusing a sex toy so much as the fact that I can't get laid. Put the wand in your profile picture. Your iPhone gathers a lot more location data than you may have originally thought. It's a setting called frequent locations. As you go about your daily routine, your iPhone makes note of where you are and how long you're there. When it starts detecting patterns, it marks the spot as one such frequent location. It, rather accurately, assumes workplace location based on where you are during the day and your house address based on where you are at night. And it tracks various repeated locations regardless of time. Friends houses, favorite restaurants and the like. My phone thought I worked at a bar for a while. I'm pretty sure it reads your texts as well and detects if you've said you're going somewhere. I texted my husband to say I'm going to the supermarket. Next thing I got a notification on my phone telling me how long it will take me to get to the supermarket. And I know it remembers where you regularly go. But this was a day that I don't normally go out so I can only assume it knew because of the text. Microsoft Excel allows you to password lock whole sheets or just sections of sheets. This means you can save a template and don't have to worry about it getting messed up. Or you can lock the sheet so when you send it off, nobody can screw it up and blame IT on Eugene I hate you so much I hope the accounting wing burns to the ground. Windows has a built in clipped tool for you to select certain areas on the screen to copy instead of doing an entire screen capture and then cropping. Windows key plus shift plus s. Now you don't even have to open the tool. D. There's a manual eject button recessed into that little hole on your computer's DVD drive to get the disk out of the drive or computer stop working. Your microwave has lower power settings to better reheat leftovers so they don't have hot spots and cold in the middle. In cities on average use intersections there are sensors on left hand turns that track two settings. Is there a car above me? And estimated cars in line. Heavy use intersections tend to just be on timers and low use intersections have just the first sensor. The first setting is simple. If there is a car above me, change the light. This means park before the stop line on the goddamn sensor you ducking in grates. The second is more complex. When the light turns green, the computer wants to know how long to keep it green before letting other traffic through. It does this by counting cars that drive over it and analyzing the gap between them. The longer the gap, the faster the light goes yellow. This means when making a turn, get off your ducking phone and stay close to the person ahead of you and we'll all make it through without a single one of us running a red. That weird switch on your rear view mirror is a dimmer switch to prevent headlights behind you from blinding you. 
If you look carefully you should be able to see a second fainter reflection in the mirror. It's more notable at night. With lights in the mirror, I always assumed it was just a flaw. Until I noticed it lines up with where you have the main reflection when you flip the switch up. I've never bothered to confirm this theory, but I've checked in every car I've owned since. And they all work the same. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cast you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.